Hey coders, this is me just telling you how to get through the rest of the bubbles in lesson two intro to HTML. So again, I'm logged in and I've continued in my course. We've already finished this one, so I am going to go to level three right here. And when I go to three, I notice it's the same video we watched last week in our ending um, activity for the week. So you can choose to watch it again if you want to. You can actually go back and watch this anytime. If you think you've got a handle on WebLab, then you can go ahead and go to level four. So on four here, what we're going to do is look specifically at the inspector tool. So you can read all of this jazz over here and notice what has been added. One of the things, obviously, that's added is all of this HTML code, all right? So what the inspector tool does, so if you click up here, it will tell us, but if you click on it and it's white, now when I click on different parts of either here, like over here in what the finished product looks like, it shows me the code. So inspector tool, that's a heading. See how it has H2, so that means it's header two. This one should be H1. Oh, nope, I lied. This one is H1. Interesting, because it's a bigger header than the other one. So H1, you can see that in the code there. H2 would be header two. Paragraph right because the tag is starts with a p ends with a slash p header so this is to show you how to use the um inspector tool Ooh, this is a fun code right here so li means list so if you're ever going to do any sort of a list you would want to start with li so that's what this one is here li and then slash li to end that. So on this bubble four, you're simply exploring. One of the things that's added on here, right here, help and tips. So when you press help and tips, it will take you to what's called map levels right here. And this is simply a map of code that you might need to use. So anytime you're stuck, go to help and tips. The other thing code provides is a video to help you. So that is bubble four. Oh, I also, if the if it's super tiny here, after you've read your instructions, you can move the instructions by clicking on that half triangle. So that is four. Go ahead and stop and play. Five is another video that introduces you even more into these HTML tags. So remember, we wrote these down at the introduction of the lesson. So I really, really think it's a good idea while you're watching this video to take some notes so you've got those down. Once you've watched the video, you go to level six, level six, and you are going to start practicing coding. I know this is going to be your first time coding, so just do what you can. Um, I think working with a friend is a great idea here, but you are going to um, just follow these instructions. Write three separate sentences. See right here? This is what you are going to complete. If you run into any troubles, use help and tips here, or reach out to a friend, or let me know. Once you've added your text in your body, then you're going to go to our final assessment, which is seven. So for this one, you're going to use paragraph tags. And here are the instructions of what to do. One thing um, you may want to know on this screen, see how there is a check mark up here on the seven? And right here, this icon has a link. That means whatever you do here is going to go forward throughout the unit. So it's really important you do seven and you do it as best you can. 
Um, if I see mistakes, I'll ask you to do it again because it's something we'll continue on. And then after seven, there's a challenge option if you would like to do it. So this actually is really fun. I would love for you to do it. So we've talked about one through seven. When you're finished with those, if you want to, you can press more and you can actually go to our next unit, which is headings, but we won't work on that until next week.